Hi, it's Kent Barber here from Game Logic Design. Today I'm going to take you through exporting out a scene from Cinema 4D. This is the gamer scene in Cinema 4D, and this is the end result that we're going to get, which is this Gamer Girl exported out with all the textures and materials. So I'm going to close that down. I'm going to jump into R19 here. And to find this, you need to come under your content browser. And it's under Body Paint, Example Scenes, Scenes. And there you'll find this at Gamer. So we just load that up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the standard layout here. And this scene actually comes uh, embedded inside of a subdivision surface. And it has these extra special flags here to tell things not to be subdivided. But for this export, we don't really want the subdivision detail because it will just make the file much too big. So what we're going to do is we're going to break these out. I'm going to delete that subdivision surface. And I'm also going to delete this tag because uh, 40 Publish doesn't support this stop tag. So get rid of that. And I want to make sure I get rid of all those stop tags in this particular scene. So I'm going to come up. I'm going to come under here and go folding, unfold all. I'm just going to look for them. There's probably a much easier way to do this. But at the moment, I'm just going to do this by hand. So these are all those stop tags. So again, they are used to stop the subdivision. But... 40 Publish doesn't support that stop tag, so I'm just going to get rid of them manually. Okay, so now we're good. So uh, that's looking fine there. So now I'm ready. I just want to export this out as it is. So I'm not going to do anything else to this scene. I'm going to come up. I'm going to go to the page designer. And I'm going to create a PDF, create a new page. And then I'm going to drag on a 3D view onto this page. And click on the PDF and go export out to D temp. Gamer Girl 1 and just click export and now that's going to export out the geometry for the every single object that is in that scene that's going to look at all of the materials and there's a lot of materials down here and for each of these materials it's going to create textures for every single one of those materials for all the channels that we've specified and the ones we specified were for and they can be found under here Color, specular, environment, luminance, alpha, and um, also basic transparency if there is some. So it's if those channels are active on the materials, it's going to create a texture for those as well. So it's just been exported there. So I'm going to open this file up. It's going to click open. Let's come over onto a separate screen here. So I'll just drag that on. There it is. Now this can take a little bit of time to load. So this file is actually 100 meg inside, 106 meg, I think. So it's actually quite a big file. Um, but Adobe Acrobat does bring it up, so it may, may halt for a little bit. This is Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, and then you come under here, and then you'll uh, be able to go trust this document always. And now, the, you won't see anything in the screen here, because I didn't put anything in the background of that of that view, but you just need to like, click once, and it's going to load the scene in. So here is that scene exported out. Now, you'll notice here, if you have just installed it, that you may get the scene reverting to bounding boxes. So you can actually fix that by coming up to Edit, Preferences, and the 3D and Multimedia. You've got a frame, a, a frame rate threshold here. And you've also got Optimization Scheme for low frame rate. So I'm just going to put that to None, so it won't reduce it to a bounding box. So now I can rotate that scene around, and it won't reduce down to any lower content. So you can see here that the scene has come in looking pretty good. Now, one of the things you may notice is that her arms and face are shiny. Now you can get rid of that by changing the specular uh, strength for the on the reflectance channel, if you need to get rid of the specular off that. And the other thing different in this scene is just that this teddy bear here, the looking lion thing, it actually has multiple materials where it's got all white on the eyes. So let me bring up the other scene so we can actually see it side by side here. So I'll just bring that back up, go to standard. And I'll dock that there and dock that here. And now you can see the scene there. So you can see it's it's quite similar. Uh, we need to stop using that camera there. Um, and so that's what I was talking about with the bear there. So other than that, it's not looking too bad. The other issue with this, I think, is just that one thing there. This is a two-sided material, and we're only supporting one. So we're only getting the one material side of this, which happens to be this black bit on the other side. So you'd need to fix that up as well if you wanted to export it. So there we have it. That is the Gamer Girl exported out to PDF, including all the geometry. Uh, you can see everything has come um, looking pretty good, actually. And it's also got that one camera in there. So we've got that camera, so we can just click, and it'll go to the exact same camera view 
that will sit up there. So it's that same camera view.